Aloha, this is Olamana Gardens uh, latest uh, incarnation of the portable or relocatable system. Not portable, you can't carry in the briefcase, but certainly relocatable. You can unstack the bricks, pick up the wood, throw it in the back of a pickup truck, move it and take it anywhere you want to. I'd like to point out a few features. First off, all the power to run this is in that brown hose. That brown hose that you see there is just a garden hose connected to the air pump that you see running there in the background. That hose, if you follow it around, is connected all the way in the house where you have a little air compressor sitting up secure, out of the weather, you could be inside a locked room, etc. And there you go, little one little 40 watt air compressor one, the top green one there. Now that little air compressor can run a garden way out there in the yard. The important of that is you don't have to run electrical wire out across the yard. Now that hose could be a piece of PVC buried under the lawn, just an inch down, let the lawnmower go over it. And what it does for me, it gives me an air pump. That air pump, not only does it move the water, but it also aerates it, as you see there. A lot of aeration going on. Now that water gets pumped up out of this fish tank. This fish tank is a 180 gallon fish tank. And we put two lids on it, the ships like this. So there you go, you got right now about 160 gallons of water. You see there's a filter there where the water goes out. That's to keep the fish from going in the out pipe. It drops down. Now notice I've set this in a box of wood. Those are two by sixes, stained 360, then screwed together. We set the box down, we just throw it on the ground because you notice my yard is not level, okay? So then all I do is throw the rock or the gravel or sand in there and level it off. So see here it's about flush. And over there on the far side, about two inches down. So that way I have an absolutely level fish tank. Now coming off of that, we just stack our bricks and we use T-boards. This happens to be a, a two by eight with a two by eight underneath it. A two by eight can span eight feet. So I can span across without having it warp or dipping down on me. Next, we come into our biofilter. Our biofilters, we like to use the black cinder rock here, but you could use pebbles, crushed glass, whatever you wanted to. We do double tray, so there's a one inch space, a little cut pieces of your short pipe in between, and that between here. This tray has about 400 holes in it, 200 to 400, depending on the size, quarter inch holes up to 3 eighths. This has only one hole, which is the drain. That's the two inch pipe you see there below. Now that two inch pipe, there's three of them, three trays, three pipes, come down to one common pipe, which comes up to here. And as you see, this level here, this sets the level for that tray there, okay? So when this tray gets that full of water, this water is gonna fall down into our tea, it's gonna bubble, the bubble's gonna come up here, they're gonna escape up, they're gonna vent out. Once this starts siphoning, this'll run, and you'll see here the water starting to come out here, this one's just getting ready to go off. And that's your water down there. And that, you see, we're coming up to the high point there. So as we come up to the high point, now we'll take a minute while we're waiting for it to go off to look at the pump. Pump comes out of the water, goes to the ground, comes over here. There's a two inch check valve. Two inch check valve, come over here. This is our air coming in here. The air comes into there. That's just a water hose fitting, goes into there, comes over to here. And the air burps up, and here she goes. And it's quite dramatic, okay? And that gives me my water into there. Now, I'm a little shy of cinder here. I should have about another inch of cinder in here so that you never actually see the water when you're in actual operation, okay? So, as this fills up, this is the nice little sight pipe. Let's you see the bottom of the tray that has all the holes in it. So this will drain like a pasta strainer, okay? Now, the way this works here is... Remember we said when the water gets this high, she's going to start overflowing there, creating a drag. When she does go, this is the air brake. This is the tattletail pipe. This piece of pipe goes down, comes over, and goes right up there into the bottom of this tray. Thus, this pipe will always reflect the level of the water that's in that tray. Okay? Now we're starting to speed up here. And she'll speed up. She'll go into siphon mode. You'll see all the air bubbles being exhausted. See the air bubbles down there? That's being exhausted out of here. Coming up, coming over, and she'll come up to speed. Now the water will come here. In here, we have a, we call a clear water pickup. 
you have a slotted pipe that lets the water go up and down about an inch each flush. Over here, you'll see we have the dilomatic. This ring here can turn left and right and open and close that. So you see here now, we're going full force here. Now she's draining down. As she starts draining down, this will quite quickly take the water out of here. You watch this, that water will just disappear. Even though it's still coming in, it's going to go out faster than it's coming in. That's the siphon, okay? So we come along here. So this one would be in the Zola bed. This one, these would be float beds, okay? And this is clear water pickup here. You see the slot there, yeah? And so the whole thing becomes a pretty neat system. You have a drain here at the end. You can open up that blue valve and let the water come out into the yard and drain any sediment you might have picked up. You can do a three inch holes like this, or you could do a two inch hole like that for two inch net pots, or you could just leave it off and let this one be the Azola. Now when it grows up, it will look like this. So the middle tray here, we got strawberries on the right. We got Azola here. We got the vermiliads being rooted out. Over here is the Mamaki tea plant coming up. Up over here, we got onion, stallion, strawberries, uh, Cuban oregano, mamaki, two different varieties of mamaki. Come in here, some taro, and some little taro seedlings. And then here's the fish tank. And so she just goes here, and the fish are hiding underneath here, a little shy, these guys. They tend to be that way because we tend to eat them from time to time. Notice how clear the water is. So it's got clear water aquaponics, okay? And that. Uh, so this system here that you see with a 180 gallon tank, that could be extended out with 30 grow trays on it. Okie dokie. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, contact Olamana Gardens at olamanagardens.com or Glenn at olamanagardens.com. We're in Hawaii and we're getting a little rain sprinkle, so I'm going to run back here under cover. But just wanted to give you a little shot of what it can look like.